Hello everyone, this is Avis from Automation Play. I am really excited to make these new tutorials on TI Portal version 17, especially its installation and you know, uh, how to install it, how to simulate and uh, maybe I will replace few lessons of older TI Portal version 16 as well. Mostly the programming remains the same. Uh, the most important part is what's new in TI Portal version 17. So it's uh, mostly the additional stuff that maybe we are not using in our uh, daily programming projects, right? But for SCADA applications, for debugging, or for cloud connectivity, like uh, we have cost effect metrics that is that makes debugging very easy. We have CFC editor as well uh, that has been a part of DCS systems, right? But we can't replace uh, that system with this one. I will uh, uh, share in the details as well as we go on. Uh, TI Portal Cloud is now offered for commercial use, uh, right? Uh, security, you will see lots of security elements uh, from downloading the program to simulation, uh, project security and stuff like that. So, uh, yep, uh, we will cover that. Uh, simple web-based visualization. So web-based visualization using HTML5 with view of things. So view of thing combines all the uh, visualization elements in the TI portal. And it's, uh, I think, uh, really exciting stuff. You can say it is the uh, future of uh, SCADA, you know. Uh, OPC UA has now alarms and conditions uh, uh, for centralized reporting, that, that is really good. Uh, increased software quality with TI portal test suite, mostly used for larger projects. Standardization with more flexible library concepts. So library, uh, uh, is one of the uh, you know component that is uh, missing uh, uh, in many projects that I've seen o over my experience uh, experience of eight years right so we will cover a library section as well how we can standardize our projects how we can standardize uh, programming uh, so make programming more structured right so to download TIA portal version 17 they offer a trial obviously I think they have uh, discontinued the links for version 16 uh, but you can, uh, you know, figure that out, out as well. So we have, uh, you have to create account on your Siemens website, download the ISO files and uh, follow the video that uh, I will be sharing with you. Uh, here's the link. W once you click on the link, uh, you can download the trial. There are two versions. One is with uh, WinCC Advanced and WinCC Unified and one is with WinCC Professional. So, if you are, uh, if you have TI Portal version 16 or version 15 with WinCC Professional, you can't uh, install this one. You have to install this one because WinCC Professional can't run in parallel. Multiple versions can't run in parallel. Yeah. So I, I, I have uh, shown in the video, I have downloaded this one because obviously it will give us the opportunity to work on WinCC Unified, right? So here are the links for WinCC Unified. You have, they have just provided one link of 6 GB. Just download that. You don't need to download uh, this stuff. These are ad additional hardware packages, support packages, mostly use panel images, mostly used when we are working on, uh, you know, projects. Uh, and then uh, you don't have to download that. And we can just download 1.8 GB file of PLC SIM. So once it is downloaded, I will show you in the next videos how you can install it. So again, uh, I'm really excited to continue TI Portal version 17. Let me know uh, which topics uh, in TI Portal version 17 you look forward to. Uh, you can share in the com comments.